Good morning, everybody. This is Mel again. I'm just providing a very, very short video. This is actually a update and a correction um, to something I was making reference to in webinar four, which was released um, yesterday. <coughs> um, on one of the early slides, I was addressing a question um, the question that you can see here where somebody had actually sent me some some information and some um some some data inputs on what was happening uh with a strategy that they were testing and what i then did i plugged the information into an equity curve simulator um to kind of get an idea as to what he would be he or she would be experiencing in terms of the equity curve um as as uh, from the sample of 128 um, but I made a mistake um, because what I did with the equity curve simulator as the reward to risk um, I used 1.3 to 1 which was actually incorrect what I should have been using was um, 10.6 divided by 4.95 um, which is the actual um, um, the average uh, reward to risk uh, profit factor is actually something slightly different uh, but i um accidentally used it um, what i should have been using um was 2.14 because the win is two point his average win is 2.14 times more greater uh, than a loss so what i wanted to do was just plug it in now um <clears throat> so 2.14 as the win loss he's right now his win rate is fed he or she I should say because I don't know if it's the I can't remember if it was a, a man or a woman um, the win rate is 38 percent let's just say we're starting with an equity of 5,000 euros so we're gonna run it for 100 trades and we're just gonna see um, um, what happens so um, so what we can see here is that he's not far off from he's not far off from getting um consistency um it's it's not actually as bad as what it was looking yesterday because yesterday i was using uh, 1.3 um which obviously um isn't great but if you use 2.14 which is actually his average reward to risk ratio then you can clearly see that he's not far off she he or she is not far off from a level of consistency so i just wanted to um make that clarification because some of you may have probably picked that up as well um that why am i using 1.3 when i should be using and that 1.3 is actually profit factor which is actually something completely different to um uh, reward to risk so i just wanted to make that clarification and we can cover other things like profit factor what that um, is an indicative of um, and there's also some other things that i want to talk about in future webinars like the kelly kelly criteria which some of you may be familiar with and also expectation which is a measure of um, the um, the volatility of a strategy and how quickly a strategy can rebound from um, losing streaks so these are other things that we're probably going to discuss at some future point but i just wanted to make it clear that the person who sent that email in um, is very very close to having um, a sustainable strategy and it's just a couple of tweaks here and there just to bring that probability up um, if he was to get it up to say like 45 percent um, what we can clearly see is that it really does make a significant difference so um, if you are the person that sent me that email and watching this corrective slide um, hopefully that um, shows you that you're not far off and I can clearly concur with you you don't even need to get it over 50 percent just getting it up to 45 percent is enough to really make a dramatic difference in terms of your equity curve okay thank you very much